Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I am an old guy adjusting my audio mixer so I can hear myself better <laughs> in the headphones. Welcome, everybody. So, yeah, today is moving day, so we are going to uh, move our stuff uh, over to the Deshong Tower. And I think, uh, you know, I was going to do this off camera, but because I have, you know, somewhat limited time to... Uh, you know, record these episodes, and I was requested um, that I release these episodes more frequently than I have been, which I appreciate that. That's that's a good compliment, uh, so thank you for that. I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to try and get... I'm not going to be able to do daily episodes, but, you know, let's see Let's shoot, see if we can shoot for at least three, three episodes a week at a minimum and maybe more. Uh, which means that, you know, because my time is somewhat limited and, uh, you know, for other reasons, real life reasons, other things I got to do on the channel, that means I'm probably going to show you more of stuff that I otherwise would do off camera. Uh, but we can spice it up a little bit, maybe by doing some time lapse and putting some groovy tunes on and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's uh, let's just have a big old moving sesh and uh, we'll, we'll we'll do it rock concert style. So I hope you guys enjoy the montage. Let's get this done.
right, guys, I think that is it, other than all of these containers. Uh, I'm just going to double check and make sure I got everything. That wasn't too bad of a move. It was about uh, what I expected, but it wasn't uh, the worst thing ever. Uh, we did have a bit of a problem from Roberta the robotic drone. She kicked us off the ladder and broke our leg. So, yeah, there was that. In fact, she kicked us off the ladder twice, but I managed to catch it the second time. I probably should have just told her to stay put, but I, I, you know, I have been using her to haul stuff, so that's why I wanted to kind of keep her with me in case I needed her. Okay, so everything is completely done from up here. Uh, we do have a couple things out here. I can't pick up the well until I empty it first. I don't think there's anything in here. Nope. Uh, but, yeah, so I'll have to come back and get these. These I'm going to have to dig to pick up, so I'm going to just leave those there for now, too. I imagine at some point in the future we'll have a nice little garden set up on the very roof of the, you know, the top roof of the Dishong. But that pretty much gets us moved, other than those couple of really small things. And so let's head on back over there and see what's what. I'm going to need... I'm going to probably pick up the two big iron chests that we were using to transport up the ladder and, and use those as storage because I I ran out of room in in one of those boxes and had to start putting stuff, you know, in a different box that it doesn't normally go in. But we, you know, we're not, I'm not planning on doing any more moves for the whole rest of this series. This is where we're going to live for, for the whole rest of the series, most likely. And so, you know, we don't need those really ginormous chests. For that uh you know put in that spot there uh, i would like to have drop chests there but they can be you know just smaller size chests um so i got that in there which completely over gets us overweight so you know what where's roberta at she's right here how may i assist you you stay here and we'll come and get you later i don't want you knocking me off again yeah dork <laughs> it's like what the heck man okay so yeah, we'll just put some normal size chests there for drop chests moving forward. Fortunately, I had this chest in my inventory when I got stuck because I was massively overweight and I landed on this thing and that's what actually broke my leg. Uh, but I was able to put this down so that I could put some more stuff in it. So it all worked out in the end. All right, so up to the top here. Uh, let's just put uh, everything in there for the moment. And then uh, let's grab the, the casings. Three full stacks of bullet casings are actually pretty heavy. All right. So, yeah, I had to put some things in here that wouldn't normally go in there because we ran out of room in here. Weapons, tools, and mods. I should probably take you know, the armor out and clothing out of there and uh, why am I not getting the pick this up? Unlock? What? How come I can't pick that up? Oh, I wonder if it's because it's out of range of the of the uh, land claim. Well, no, it shouldn't be. See, the land claim's going all the way up to the roof. Is it damaged? I'm a little confused here. Um, What happened to the other one, too, by the way? Oh, wait a minute. It's because it's still got stuff in it, right? Yeah, that's why. All right. <laughs> like, what the heck, man? What is going on here? Okay, so... Now let's pick this up. And we're going to put the other two big boys uh, just up here. Like so. There we go. All right. Let's make this one clothing and armor. And then anything that's in, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to make this one. I'm going to make this one, um, a 
motor parts, we'll say. Whoops. Okay. So that means we can take and put all of that kind of stuff in there. It's super heavy, too. Uh, what's this? This is our workbench. Okay, we need a spot for that. There's something over here that's blocking me from putting something down. It's probably... I don't know what it is, actually. Because I think this wainscoting is just part of the part of the deal. So, yeah, I don't know what's, what's blocking. Okay, that'll go there. Why doesn't this go there? Oh, I get it. Okay, yeah, it's because of these this trim here so that spot's open but not okay yep that makes sense gotcha okay well what we could do is i didn't want to destroy these couches because we might put them back here in the future once we get everything completely remodeled so let's just pick them up and we can put the workbench here maybe we'll put it right there that has to stick out because of the well actually no here let's do this let's pick this up and then pick this up again. I didn't... I, I wasn't really too deliberate about where I'm putting the workstations. I just wanted to get them up here, and I might I might move them around a little bit more. But, you know, we use these workstations maybe... No, we don't need the research tier 2 down anyways. All right, I'll fix that later. I don't need to worry about that right now. That's right. I probably put a couple of tier 2s down that we don't actually need down, so I'll fix that later. Uh, so, okay, so that gets all of that taken care of. Now, I want to, this is all raw materials and metals. Um, so why don't we take this and make this our new drop chest. So we'll just keep that there. And we need one down at the bottom. I have the cardboard one, but I think I'd, if I have a larger one, I was kind of putting miscellaneous stuff in here. Uh, it doesn't really look like I have a larger chest in here, so I guess we'll just have to use the cardboard box for now. I don't think I put another chest in here, but I might have. Uh, nevertheless, I want to get all the clothing out of here and armor stuff. Uh, so that'll free us up a little bit of space. Some of the stuff I need to just flat out sell, too. Okay, so that frees up some spots there. This is supposed to be weapons, tools, and mods. I believe I put some clothing items in here, too. Yeah, so that's there. This, this. Um, yeah, there's clothing. These are motor tool parts or anything associated with engines and cars and vehicles. So let's grab all of that out of there. Uh, da, 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 uh, all the gasoline should go in motor tools part or motor tool parts. Uh, wheels will go there. Bicycle will go there. And I think that's pretty much it for motor tool parts. Okay, so let's um, yeah. let's do this. Okay, that didn't help at all. It's cause, I guess it's because I haven't put anything in there yet. I might put, yeah, the extra furniture can go in here for now, too. Okay, so that, 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 this can all go in there. The wheels. All right. These are our parts. So those can go in there. All right, that frees us up some space here. Now, I want to move weapons and mod items back over to their the chest they're supposed to be in, which is this chest here. Is there anything else in here? 
Oh, let's get our, our kit back out and put back together too, the way it's supposed to be. And I want my nail gun with me. I want the pipe bombs, the nerdies. Uh, that's our shovel and our axe. Where, uh, there's our pick. Where's my shotgun? There's my shotgun. Okay, that can go down here. Uh, we don't, I don't normally carry the chainsaw with me. I just happen to have it, so I'm not worried about that. Here's our sniper rifle. That goes there. Our kniffy goes here. And we can put these guys down here in their normal spot. Uh, this can go in here. I want the lock picks and the bobby pins and the repair kits and the ratchet. I, I wanted, you know, I was, I was going to maybe keep all that stuff with me so I didn't have to redo it later, but I just needed, you know, maximum space. Uh, I want about half of these wood blocks. I always want to carry wood blocks with us in this game. Um, okay, so sort that. And I think pretty much everything else that's in here should be in here. Weapons, tools, mods. These are kind of more mis miscellaneous. Well, actually, no, we can put we need to put those in the forge. That's what we need to do with these guys. Um, well, that anyway. And I guess we don't use a crucible in a forge. We use it to, to make it. We'll put the ingot mold back in here. What are you supposed to have for tools? Oh, you don't have any tools at all. Okay. All right, so that's good. That kind of gets us a little bit better organized there with stuff. Um, all of these mods should go back and weapons parts should go back in the weapons chest. I do want to keep ammunition in here though. So this is supposed to be parts, ammo, and what else? And explosives. Parts, ammo, and explosives. That I'm gonna actually put in the motor tool parts because it's a uh, it's needed to make some of the engine thingy medoodles. And we'll take the data out of here. And I think everything else is appropriate to be in here. We could probably take the the brick molds out too. Here, that goes into motor tool parts. I'm keeping uh, research data books. Money, paint, uh, you know, that kind of stuff in there. The rotten meat should go in the raw resources, which is this one. We'll put those in there, too, because we're also keeping metals in here, and those are metal-related items. I suppose this is, too. All right, and then we want all of you guys to go in there. Oops, and this too. Clothing. Since those are clothing mods, I guess we'll put them in there. Okay. Uh, this should probably go in miscellaneous. No, not that. This. This we're going to put down at the bottom as our bottom uh, drop chest. Okay, so I got all the cooking stuff back in there, and this is a tier two artisans. I don't think we upgraded to the tier three. Tier two mechanics, tier two maintenance, ballistics, chemistry, tier three research. Do I have, I'd put an, a tier two research down too, didn't I, on accident? Not meaning to, which is this here. Yeah, so this doesn't have to stay here since we have a tier three research. Um, we'll put this in misc. I thought I had also, did I put another tier two down that we have a tier three four? We got the tier three carpenters. The furnace and the blacksmiths are only tier two. Uh, don't we have a tier two workbench? Chemistry, yeah, right here. Okay, so let's grab this. Like I said, I wasn't really paying too much attention to it. I'm just, I was just putting stuff down.
Okay, this we can pick up and put away. Don't even really need them, I guess, but I'm hanging on to them because I'm not sure. Uh, is there any recipe associated with this? No, there isn't. So technically we don't need to keep them at all, but I will anyways because I can. Because I can. Okay, that's the disassembly, research, tier 3, chemistry, ballistics, maintenance, mechanics, artisans. Um, we use this table quite well. I mean, we use them all, so I'm just trying to move them a little bit closer. I didn't want to pull up uh, or break any of these shel this shelving because here again, you know, this is eventually going to be a hall, a hall again. It's not going to be our quarters. And so I want all that stuff to remain in place, you know, at least for now. Okay, so I think that that gets us going good enough. I can always move some of this stuff closer to later if I feel like it's too much of a hassle to have to keep walking over there. But I think that uh, gets us in pretty decent shape at this point. Uh, we are thirsty. Um, let's And man, we're not really that hungry. We're mostly just thirsty. It's because I've been tanked out on steroids with you know for the whole move i'm gonna have to make some more like mineral water and some of the better water we're almost out of red tea we'll just slam a bunch of basic waters and get that hydration back up baby And I know there's a few other stations like the med stations and all that that I didn't put down um, and probably won't until we get the permanent setup done. Okay, so that is our new drop chest for up there. And I think we're done, you guys. I think I think we're moved, our, you know, for our temporary move. So now the plan is that we're going to start working on the Deshong. Um, we're going to get the upper floor... The floor that we're on fixed first, so that means we're going to repair it, and then we're going to decide at what you know what what part of the building we're actually going to move to. And I'm actually planning on kind of using multiple parts. So we'll have like a bedroom area, we'll have a nice kitchen area, we'll have a crafting area. Um, yeah, that'll work for now for a drop chest until I get something bigger there. Uh, but yeah, okay. So let's see. Plan for next episode. Um, why don't we do, why don't we just do some looting and questing in the next episode? We haven't done that in a long time. We've been doing a lot of Deshaun related stuff. So we'll break it up a little bit and yeah, do, do a little bit of looting, a little bit of questing. Um, and as I've mentioned before, my plan is to kind of mix things up. So we'll do an episode where we do looting and questing. Then we'll come back to the Deshaun and do, you know, a building episode. And then we'll go do more looting and questing. Then we'll come back to a building episode. Uh, you know, we got the Horde Knight that'll come up again. And, you know, I'll, I'll try and keep things interesting and not just, you know, do a ton of back-to-back -back building episodes. So with that being said, I, I don't know how long this episode's going to ultimately be because, you know, I have a lot of editing to do with the move. Um, but uh, hopefully by the time I'm done with that, this will be more or less around the, you know, the average um timed episode i do try and shoot for 30 to 45 minutes i know sometimes my episodes are a little bit longer than that uh and on a rare occasion they're actually even less time than that but that you know that's what i like to try and do uh most of you guys in you know in with the feedback i've gotten over the years I actually kind of like the longer episodes uh, but i know everybody doesn't uh and it has to do with you know just time i'm a youtube consumer myself as well as a youtuber and, you know, sometimes you don't have time to watch really long videos. Uh, so, anyway, doesn't matter. It's neither here or there. This episode will be as long as it'll be. But, uh, anyway, yeah, let's plan on doing some looting and questing in the next episode. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Ciao.